Here are a few essential tips on investing in the share market. To begin with, let us understand the meaning of shares and the share market. A share, also known as equity or stock, is a document that validates your ownership in a company and you can sell this document to others. The share market or stock market refers to the financial market for buying and selling these shares. All stock exchanges across India are part of the Indian share market. But wait, what's a stock exchange? So, an investor cannot just buy and sell shares from anywhere. Instead, these transactions occur at a stock exchange, a platform where investors come together to buy and sell stocks. There are two main stock exchanges in India. One, Bombay Stock Exchange, BAC, and two, National Stock Exchange, NSE. Before we discuss how to trade in the share market, let us first understand what is stock trading? Stock trading typically means buying and selling shares in the secondary market. So, what are primary and secondary markets? A primary market is where companies issue new stocks and offer them to the public. So, the transaction happens between issuers and buyers. A secondary market is where you can buy and sell shares already issued in the primary market. The transaction takes place between seller and buyer. The stock exchange or broker acts as an intermediary in the secondary market. And now, the most important question of all, how to invest in the share market? There are a few prerequisites before you start investing in the share market. To begin with, you must possess the documents like PAN card, address proof, etc. to open a DMAT and trading account. A DMAT is an account that allows you to hold your shares in an electronic format. And a trading account will enable you to buy or sell shares on the stock exchange. You must open both to start trading in the Indian stock market. Next, you will need a bank account linked to your trading account to ensure that money flows in and out of your account seamlessly when you transact. Also, you cannot go directly to stock exchanges and trade in different shares. You must find a share broker, a member of the stock exchange to facilitate trading equity, commodity, currency and derivatives etc. through an exchange. Once you are all set with a DMAT account, trading account, a linked bank account, you are ready to trade and invest in the share market. Let us now go through the final steps of trading in the share market. The first step, as discussed earlier, is to open a DMAT and trading account with a linked bank account. The next step is to simply log into the trading account and choose the share you want to buy or sell. Next, you must add funds to your trading account. While transacting, you choose the price at which you want to buy or sell a particular share. Once your price gets accepted by a seller or a buyer, whatever the case might be, your transaction gets completed by transferring shares and money. The stock trading process might be simple, but it requires knowledge about the stock markets and companies to make an actual profit out of it. Before trading in the share market, you should also make sure that you're ready for it. Define your financial goals and measure your risk tolerance before laying out your plan for stock trading. Make sure you do enough research, technical or fundamental analysis on the share you want to trade. It is always advisable to invest in a diversified portfolio, but even better advice is to ask an expert. Taking advice from an expert can help you make the right trading decision as a beginner. An expert will guide you to make the right choice. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.